Okay, we are here in your dashboard and we are going to build a workflow from scratch. You don't need any technical skills. You don't need to know how to code or to program. All you need to do is to be able to think of what you want and then be able to type it out clearly in the same way that you describe a task to an intern. So we will start by clicking add a workflow up here in the top right corner. And then you have this prompt box. And what we're going to do is describe the workflow that we want. So let's try given a LinkedIn URL. Tell me about this person's role and the most likely pain points they experience within that role. Then we'll just run that workflow and let it build. Usually it takes about 60 to 90 seconds. So we'll go ahead and pause. That way you don't have to watch it populate here. Now the workflow is built. We took a simple sentence in English, wrote it out, and it built this process for me. So when I enter a LinkedIn URL, it will scrape that, it will extract the role info, and then infer the likely pain points. And we'll do all of these three tasks simultaneously. And if I want later, I can upload multiple LinkedIn URLs to get all of that information at the same time. Now all that's left to do is to test the workflow. So if I go here to test, I add a LinkedIn URL, I will click the run workflow, and we will get this profile's information, talk about the role and the likely pain points. Again, this takes about 60 to 90 seconds usually to run, depending on how long or complex the workflow is. Probably won't take that long on this one because it's a fairly simple and straightforward workflow, but we'll still pause so you don't have to watch it running. And now that the workflow has run, we can see that it has scraped the LinkedIn URL. So this is actually my LinkedIn profile grabbed all the right information, extracts the role information, and infers my most likely pain points. Struggling to balance creativity with driven data-driven optimization, overwhelmed by the number of channels and options for demand generation, difficulty attributing results and measuring impact, frustration when content doesn't resonate with the target. This is exactly what I struggle with every day. In fact, this is painful to read a little bit. Uh, it is so accurate. So in the next video, we are going to introduce you to what actions are. Spoiler alert, there's just these little steps. And then in the video after that, we'll teach you how you can modify each individual action so that you can improve the quality and the output of your entire workflows.